What's up, everyone? Hey, we're gonna do a backbend kickover using the door or a wall. It's just another way to prepare you for the real situation on the ground. So let me show you what I'm talking about. And I'm Coach Megan. Hey, what's going on? Ooh. See? So here she blows. This is the easier way. See? So I took two steps on that one. So you want to make sure you can push up into a bridge, of course, on your own, right? You want to be able to have a split handstand, work on your splits, because you know, when you kick over, you got to be able to, to split your legs, right? And having a, that strong handstand is super important. Remember, if you bend your arms, you're going to fall on your face. And none of us want to fall on our face or our head. Not fun. You can get a thin mattress if you have maybe like a futon mattress. That would be el perfecto. So, you scooch in close to the wall and your toes are like just about touching the door or the wall, like maybe an inch away. Feet close to your butt, hands by your shoulders and Try not to move your hands and feet when you push up. I notice a lot of people will be like, Ugh. keep them by your shoulders, fingertips facing your feet. And rawr, you're gonna push it on up and try and get your arms as straight as you can, looking back at your hands. If you're a righty, you're gonna step your left foot up, okay, because that's gonna be your pusher leg and you're gonna get that right leg over. Now, as it goes over, you wanna push your armpits this way and get that nice big split and push your shoulders up. And then land on the one foot, hip, shoulder straight, hip straight. Bend and lunge. Okay, yeah, it really makes it easier to get on over. And then I'll attach my other videos. Um, where you can do the next step on the couch, okay? So that was using the one leg, because if your right leg's kicking over, your pusher's gonna be your left leg. Now, if you wanna make it a tiny bit easier, you can do right foot right in front of you. Remember, don't bend your arms or else, ooh, you're gonna fall. We don't wanna do that. Gotta have straight, strong arms. If you're falling, tuck your chin and then come down okay because you never want to go on the top of your head so easier version right foot right in front of you then you can put that left foot up a little bit higher and then as you kick your leg over push your armpits and your shoulders so they go on top of your hands okay and lunge for some reason, my nose is getting stuffed up as I'm upside down. It's the weather. It's so windy outside, it's like a windstorm. Oh my gosh, it's filling my body with air. Remember when you're kicking that leg over to kick it straight over your head? And try and keep your hips and shoulders straight. Because look at what happens if you have it all crooked. Okay. Ooh, scary to do it all crooked. I'm going to kick this leg over here. Whoa! Oh, see how I kind of drifted off to the side like a snow drift. We don't want to do that. Foot straight over your head. And then as you kick it over, big split, tight legs, strong arms. Look for your fingers and then lunge. Okay, good luck with your practice. And remember, don't do anything if you're not comfortable. Work on a nice strong bridge first pushing up okay and I already told you everything else so great job and here's a quick trick for your hard work here's my go-to thanks for watching everyone I really appreciate it I have lots of other videos 
um, and workouts if you want to join me. So, yeah. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. Okay. Toodles and over and out. Bye.